There we go. Oh, wait. Oh. All right. Well, there you go. That was Malibu. Malibu. Uh, Mal Malibu's most wanted. That was uh, super. And uh, that was a great time. We had a great time there, Alex. Way good job. Okay. That one. Oh, there. Uh, look what we have. Look what we have here. We have Carmen. Carmen Vega. Beautiful. A, Beautiful a, model. Uh, a, you're a poet, aren't I you? Am. Very yeah. good. Yes, I am. And uh, we just found out uh, this la late edition that uh, she will actually uh, grace us okay. with one of your uh, lovely poems. Or maybe two. Yeah. Maybe we get two. <laughs> maybe two. All right. We, we won't prod that out of you. But uh, otherwise, Alex and I, she's going to model for us. Yes. So Alex and I are just going to uh, start the process. Start, start the process here. And, you know, try uh, to vocalize what we're doing a little bit. You know? Yeah, exactly. So uh, basically, what I, I like to do, I'm always a big fan, uh, and, and we don't always, uh, and, and Alex has always a different route. Yeah. And that's the beauty. We all ultimately have to find our own process in painting. And uh, I tend to, probably 99% of the time, uh, operate with uh, just jump in and get the paint, uh, ignite the canvas. So that's yeah. what I'm going to do right now uh, with a big brush and just kind of get it going. Okay. And I'm uh, going to experiment with a little bit of viewfinder. He's going to do the viewfinder. I might add, yeah, I that. might jump to that a little bit later. Right there. Uh, but I like to just find myself. I like to find myself uh, in the process. Uh, and also, uh, it doesn't hurt because this is, this canvas here has not much uh, going on because it's just a lot of empty uh, uh, raw canvas. And so sometimes it's not bad to just uh, get a, just a bunch of paint down, and we can always wipe away with the paper towels uh, and uh, and and the like. And uh, and we can make mistakes. Sometimes you can find it's like you're finding yourself. We're find I'm finding myself. I do have this. I could I could resort to that. But, uh, uh, and maybe I will, maybe I will. You never know. You just never know. It's there, guys, to use and to experiment with. That's, that's In fact, I might, I might just introduce it right now, you know, I mean, don't say never. Never say never in the process of painting. Uh -uh. Just, just give it a shot. Uh, though I, I have, I have ruled out a lot of things. Yeah. But, uh, uh, though I'm not, uh, I, I could go back. I could go back on, on my rules. Okay. Yeah, I, I, and, and don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid uh, of the failure, uh, of feeling like you're a failure because you initially said, oh, I will never do that. Never. I will never, ever, ever use photographs in my paintings. And then you suddenly start using and then, photographs. And then, sure enough, you're, you're doing that. And then you feel bad. And you feel guilty. Right. You're like you feel a, guilty. What are the painting gods going to say that I'm using a photograph? Oh no! Okay, so I'm tightening really up my my easel. It's started to fall down on me from okay. the vibrations, the oh vibrations, oh the my. pulsating rhythms, the rhythms of the paint <laughs> vibrating <laughs> like a drum, a drum on the on the on the canvas. Okay, okay. So here we go. So again, uh, that's my my uh, sort of uh, beginnings. This is my beginnings. Now Alex has actually went ahead and did more of a line drawing. Yeah, I like to do a little line work. You know, I I like lines. Not afraid of lying, but I'm going to jump. You're lying? Are you lying? I am not lying. I am. I like lying. I lie, lie, not lying. All right. Well, there you go. All right. So uh, I'm going to start to uh, get some color on here, and I'm going to mix a little burnt sienna. You know, one philosophy I have is uh, start saturated, uh, because the more color you let yourself get away with in the beginning, the more color you end up getting away with at the end. You know, and so if you get excited about a particular note of color, then get it on there, get it bright, get it intense, and uh, and let and then let let that uh, decide how wh where you're going to go. Okay, great idea, uh, and uh, whatever whatever idea that's on your mind. You know, kind of just go for it. Let it let it happen. Let the experiment happen. Yeah. Uh, whatever you think is the correct route, it is. Yeah. For that time of being, because frankly, a painting doesn't have to be a perfected operation. Uh, just because you know you you look at old paintings and and everything generally is. Uh, and mind you, these are old paintings. They tend to be kind of perfect and, and representational. Yeah. That's not the case now. This is 2010. Yeah. We don't been need, there and back. We don't play that, homie. <laughs> so don't worry about that. We got. We can. You can make a mess. Yeah. You can. You can let your heart, put your heart on your shirt sleeve and on the canvas. Yeah. Let it bleed. Okay. 
Isn't, didn't the Rolling Stones say that? Just go for I, it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so we're getting some exciting color. I, I got to say, color is to me the most exciting thing about painting, more than anything. Uh, so are you? Do you like the fobs by any chance? Oh, are you kidding? They're great. The fobs, they're kind of like uh, they were like the rock stars of the uh, the late 1800s or something. Yeah, certainly. They could have been. They, could, they were like John Lennon and you know Ringo Starr and all that. Yeah. Well, they were they were uh, Mick Jagger and yeah. I guess not. But I mean that was way back when. Uh, but today is now. I'm, I'm painting kind of now the gray uh, sheets, uh, the the curtains in the oh, background. Okay. And again, uh, I'm not really uh, certain of exactly what's going on, but I'm just, again, I'm feeling myself uh, uh, making the approach. I'm sort of making a slow approach. I can always wipe away and make some dramatic moves. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm going to maybe make an attempt here, make a pass on uh, getting her face, Carmen's face. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to wipe away and maybe... Just maybe this might be a uh, a winning. Uh, that might situation. be the move. This could be it, but it's okay if it's not. Yeah, it's okay. Let the failure uh, happen and uh, respond, react. I'm gonna walk away, walk away, and kind of look at it from afar. I gotta try that soon. Yeah, it helps. It helps to see what's going on, to see if you have something going on. Do we have something, something? I don't and know. I I sense that there's something to just keep going. I'm being told by uh, my uh, by your producer? my sixth sense to just keep going, <laughs> to yeah. keep going, and to hack away, and to uh, just uh, even if you don't necessarily know what's going on, to persevere. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and now I'm kind of drawing. I'm kind of drawing with my rag, actually, Alex. Are uh, you? Yeah, I am. I actually am. Okay. Uh, I want to get some of these uh, bright colors here on the, uh, uh, the this shawl. Let's get some pink. I'm feeling pink. Yeah, I, I'm kind of I'm, I'm working on the shawl I'm myself. I'm feeling um, kind of a ready rose color. Um, I'm feeling a real. See now, I like to use a bunch of different brushes, and sometimes if I'm making a real big color shift, you yeah. know, then I'll just grab another brush and not worry about oh, I got to clean this first so that. Uh, you know, my green gets dirty. Good or I, good, yeah, green so you, you clean. prefer to have multiple brushes. Yeah, and uh, I, I I I buy that. I'm under that, but uh, I don't uh, economically. Uh, I don't uh, have enough uh, money to buy a bunch of brushes, particularly big fat brushes. Yeah, I so, know. They can uh, be and also they get out of hand. You have all these brushes and stuff. So I operate on another uh, idea, and I'm sure you've done this too, Alex. And yeah. that is. Uh, you kind of get economical with your choices of color. So, yeah. Like, uh, so uh, if you're working with a light color, uh, you could probably easily not have to worry about brush uh, cleaning that brush, and you can kind of go into a darker color potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're willing to take a little bit of that mess in yeah. your color, tolerate the mess if you can handle it. Can you handle a mess? Now, see, when I start to feel, let's say, the pink. See now yes. this. The, the the drapery that she the scarf that she's wearing it's it goes above her shoulder and then it's behind her shoulder and it's kind of going in front of her jeans here and so when I see that color yes and it's you know then I'm gonna put that same color that I've painted in that new spot you know it's not like there's a gigantic difference between the green where it is here and then in another place. You know, or if you if you've mixed a color, if you put a color somewhere where it doesn't, you know, artificially, you know, intelligence of the color, even though you're not really seeing it, you can just kind of add it there for no reason, just for the fun of it. Yeah. Is that okay? Can we can we totally. can we you uh, know. can you we know. do that? You know. Well, I'm just asking. You know, I'm just I'm, I'm being a uh, devil's advocate. I think you should do it right now. Uh, well, I kind of am. I mean, I'm, I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on here. It's I'm still dealing Me too. with. Uh, am I am I doing? Uh, uh, a full body. See, I'm still battling. Do I? Am I doing a full body shot uh, uh, of her legs on right, the chair, right. or am I doing more of a bust uh, with a portrait? I'm still battling with the one and two. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't really know. Uh, I'm still. You know, we're, we're, this is live TV. Yeah. What's going to happen?